Hi guys, so um, I'm bringing you a salon redesign using my new spring collection glitter, at Spring Blossom. So um, my lady's previous set has been filed off. Um, there's a very, very thin layer left on a bit of the nails, but I've filed right back and I'm re-sculpting the nails. So I'm starting off with a very thin layer of crystal glass from CJP. And I don't want to have any bulk here, I just want to use this as an extremely thin layer just as a base for the nail. And then I'm coming in with Cherry Blossom from the Cuticle Area and pulling down. And then a small bead of Rose Garden from the tip and blending up. And then using a small bead of clear acrylic, dabbing into the spring blossom glitter, placing on the nail and then nudging around with the tip of my brush. And then capping that entire nail in crystal glass. And this is when I then think about the shape structure of the nail, creating that apex doing as much as I can with my brush so that when I file it's just refining it making sure all the glitter goes matte so that I know it's all been encapsulated and then on the ring finger doing the same so starting with a very thin clear base And then I'm picking up that spring blossom once again with a bead of clear acrylic, placing on the cuticle area and pulling down. Just nudging it about with the tip of my brush. Making sure that I keep it nice and flat, patting down the belly of my brush to make sure that that glitter is nice and flat and not sticking up and then encapsulating that entire nail in crystal glass That first nail is ready for pinching, so popping that pinching tool on, and then going on to the third nail. And again, starting with a base of crystal glass, starting at the cuticle area and pulling forward, keeping it nice and thin. And then I'm going to use some of the spring grass netting, pressing that down over the nail and then I'm just using a small bulldog clip underneath clipping it to the form so it stays in place then using a bead of June bug acrylic in the cuticle area and then blending forward blending over that netting and then a small bead of crystal glass to pick up just a small amount of those flowers glitters placing over the smile line and free edge so you get a nice blend and then capping that entire nail in crystal glass
Leaving that pinching tool along, pinching that second nail before then going on to starting the fourth. Once again, starting with a clear base. And then picking up Rose Garden and Buttermilk. So the pickup is one, two in Buttermilk, third in Rose Garden, placing on the nail, swirling a little with the tip of my brush, and then patting into place, being careful not to blend that too much. Then a little bit of cherry blossom from the cuticle down, and then a little bit of that glitter being picked up with a wet brush. that pinch a little too soon for that one and then capping this nail in crystal glass and then with the thumb once again a base of crystal glass to create that tip so I've got something to work on. Starting with cherry blossom at the cuticle area and then pulling down. And then just along that smile line that spring blossom picking up with a bead of clear acrylic and then using the tip of my brush to just nudge it into place to make a glitter fade then capping that entire nail in crystal glass And then when they're all set, removing those forms, be careful to pull down, not up, so as not to hurt your client. And just using my scissors just to cut off that excess netting. Always save your off cuts of netting because you'll be able to use them again. And then filing that nail. I always file the nail with any netting in first because if I get any frayed bits, I can deal with them. The usual filing technique, side wall, side wall, free edge, cuticle area, bulk of nail. Okay, so there's a few frayed bits, so I'm just using my glue just to brush over those frayed bits. Then I'm going to file another nail while that glue is setting. So free wall, free wall, free wall, <laughs> side wall, side wall, free edge, cuticle area, bulk of nail. This one's now set, so I can just file that, and that will mean that there's no little fluffy bits from that netting. And then when they're all done, dusting them off, and then I'm applying my CJP LED top coat. Okay. 
and a lamp and fill that in the LED lamp for 60 seconds let it cool down for a couple of minutes and then apply cuticle oil and there we have it my spring blossom redesign so I hope you've enjoyed that guys any questions or comments just leave below and any requests pop that below too thanks for tuning in bye